so why you can't always do work as root because if you have the power being root you have all the power so if you accidentally delete some system files of, uh, or other important stuffs you have no way to recover it that's why we need other users so they cannot mess with the system files and all those important things you know okay so now you are logged in as a root now if you want to exit from the root the command is exit now you can type who am i see now we have logged in as root let's clear this one so now let's come to user normal user so why we need users think of an example like your family it would be very great if uh, all the system users in your family like your father your sister your brother or you have different accounts so why we need uh, other users for privacy and restriction see now in GUI based system we can see now there are two users Swarup RJ and this guest session okay so we can list all the users type, type this command gt ent pss wd so see these are the users so loop and guest there are many way to print the users just there are many files configuration file just cat and all those um, those cat and password file and all those files and it will give the users there let's clear this one okay let's say now you want to add a user so all the user and group stuff so you have to do using with root privileges so there are two ways either you log in as a root using a su command and the root password or every time you uh, uh, prefix the command with sudo like super user do so it will have root privileges now we want to add user the command is sudo user add user and add then a username let's type okay. let's create uh, another user amit see now you have two user amit and Abhay. so you added a user but you haven't given password or security to them so let's set password the command is simple sudo passwd and the username a b h a y so enter the password enter the password you want to set okay so we have updated the password of abhay successfully we can do the same with amit also here i have written written in the notepad password but it is pss wd okay so we have updated the password so now we want to switch to user okay so let's switch to away so it's the command is su switch user then the username a b h o y password is okay okay so let's check where are we now where or who we are right now okay we can check where are we right now also inside home so let's check who am i see okay so now we are logged in as aware so if you want to log out or get back to soru just type in exit exit now you can check who am i now i am logged in as soru so this is all about switch user and if you can modify the username also like the command is us here mod and you have to give the root privileges so is needed here just type sudo user mom and a cell for details and the new username let's uh, like we want to um, rename amitaj prabhat prabhat the old username I mean. see now you have user our uh, and away now we have we have renamed amit as away okay now the last one is delete user the command is simple 
sudo the command uscrbel user delete then the username let's say Pravath. let's see see you have deleted Pravath. amit is there still you can get the user list get and yes see abba is still there and guest is there and so is there okay let's clear this file this was all about the users